All right, man, welcome. Welcome back. Monthly music meeting number 15. This is True Tales. So if you ain't already reached the top of your top, the top of your cloud, you should try to get somewhere near it. Cause we are maybe two minutes away from lift off. I am your pilot for the night and this evening on this flight. It's gonna be a short one. Play with a band for the first time. Major, major. Yeah, music definitely. You know, just in the culture itself, hip hop. Yeah, one of my stories I remember, like, we just getting into music. It was like, I remember everybody was into Lil Wayne, the Hot Boys. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening to Nas, Styles P. Word, you know what I'm saying? Word, word, word. the kids before, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was even on kids. I mean, up there, Jay Z, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My first one on Dynasty. If it's bleed, you know what talk, I'm saying? Talk, like, talk, talk. Talk about the bat, man. Like, I just remember coming to the <laughs> like, like, hearing the music, like, yeah, this, this, this shit, you know what I'm saying? My life. Yeah. I ain't listening to you well, know what everybody else, like. All that. All that shit. Because, you know, uh, No Limit, they had hella artists. So they had hella, you know what I'm saying? Culture of music for me. It all started having a curl. Auntie wanted me to be Michael Jackson, and then I went from Michael Jackson to being, get my ass whooped to listen to Easy E. Yeah, that was my first kind of uh, in music right there, you know, the culture part, the curl part, the Michael Jackson part, you know what I'm saying, lead to Easy E, you know what I'm saying, so you ask me what Michael Jackson and Easy E have in common, the curl. <laughs> Growing up in Chicago, it was like, I ain't gonna even lie to you, like, it was like some lame shit to rap upon a time. It was like, well, like, motherfucker be like, you rap? Like, 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 you already know what's coming, like, it's like a joke, this shit, like, well, you rap, like, a motherfucker finna, like, uh, let, let me hear something, you know what I'm saying? And at best, I just seen G Herbo saying this shit with, uh, one of them little shorties, one of them little screamer shorties, at best, in Chicago, Decent. If a motherfucker say you decent, that means you good. Ain't no motherfucker go just be like, oh man, you hard. Ah, no. You like your first time motherfucker just hear you rap. He's like, oh, you decent. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, In Chicago, Bump was like the greatest rapper ever. Like, I'm talking about everywhere you went. It didn't matter. Like, only motherfuckers you probably heard really call themselves not fucking with Bump was probably like a motherfucker that like probably. Call themselves having some real issues with them in the streets with him and his people. But other than that, if it wasn't like nothing personal against them, everybody in the city fucking with Goon Squad and that shit, that whole movie, you know what I mean? But that was a story though for me. I remember, Slip Sly Porter. Sly Porter Roy. They go out, say like Lil Baby them and say some shit like, and it probably be more like bars, but they'll say some shit like they'll go out like hit Detroit and the night like, they go on the show, they'll spend 50 on their guys with outfits and you know all that. Like what? And when you go look back at they where they from, look at they shit. Exactly. Yeah. So now they don't even make no sense. Now think about this, right? Slim thug. I mean, not Slim Thug, but, uh, what's his name? But yeah, is it Slim Thug? Yeah, Slim Thug, the Texas. Yeah. Yeah. They don't talk about none of this. He went back to his whole joint, bought up the whole joint, him and his homie. Yeah, he made everything. They, 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 they got a whole neighborhood. That's how he's saying he's promoting this yeah. to the yeah. show. Yeah. Look, at this, look at this rap. Yeah. 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 Back in the day, dun dun dun. 
playing yeah. with yeah. I ain't even listening. I know like six, six, three of them still talking to me. Yeah. But they ain't even promoting this to the shorties. That's what I'm saying. That's a superhero right there. You know what I'm saying? He went back. He made that bread, went back and rebuilt. You know what I'm saying? You could do that as well. They slept up. Birthday. All that. All that. Yeah, I told that my nigga today is nigga birthday. Yeah, I know that. I know that. That's my man. Happy birthday to Slim Thug. You know, he he big folks. The badge is this whole six, but he collab he collabo with the six and the five. What that? That's eleven points. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's how he got the, that, had the extra G on that, took the double G on that, with the hog on that. When he sat down with Tony Drake and all that shit, and that's when everybody came together. Cause my thing is this, I don't, I don't not like living good, but it's like, we gotta, you gotta have some fucking like, if you thought like on some diabolical shit, or other than just some, let's just show out all the way. You see what I'm saying? Man, I mean, I mean, take if, over. Look. If you're in a position right now to be in that position, then where would you be at? And you'd be like, where would I start? So everybody that's in those positions, they from that city doing what they doing within their community, within their little hub. They don't, they don't get the as big lens like a slim thug. That's his community. That's his block. That's Mike Hems. That's his block. That's his community. You know what I'm saying? So where you go, that's your block. Sauce Walker. Motherfucker going around, ooh wee, jury, doing this, flex, and this. That motherfucker, the king of access. The king of access in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? He ain't looking for no rap deal for like money bag yo. Money bag yo need that nigga access. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, like, pay attention to the nigga access. He's like, man, this is how I feed my team. Ain't nobody over here got hits and rap, mixtapes and none of this and do this. This is how I feed my team. Oh, access. Whatever it is, never too big. Don't let them trick you out your year. You the gift. Stand up, man up front and center. Fix your chin. You are him. Creme de la creme.